Hi, welcome to the second part of the protein structure tutorial. And in this part of the tutorial, we're going to go over some of the basic functions of Pymol and just basically how to use the software. And the first place, uh, we've, we've already kind of gone over how to show the protein in Cartoon, but another important feature of Pymol is that you want to be in the three button viewing or whatever mouse mode you're going to use, if you're going to use a laptop that only has one button, uh, you need to switch your your mouse mode. So I've got a three button mouse and and it actually works really well if you do have a three button mouse, so I, I highly recommend that. And so just make sure you're in the three button uh, viewing mode, okay? And once you're in this mode, um, one of the first things I do when I start to look at a protein is just pull up the sequence of the protein and that's really easy to do if you click on this S in the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see it brings up the whole sequence of the structure. And if you scroll all the way over to the right, you can actually see that uh, this structure exists as a dimer. And you can see that there's kind of a mirror image um, of the protein itself. And you you can also see that from the sequence because it starts over at one here. So that's kind of a helpful thing to, to do before you really look at the, the structure very closely. Just take a look at the sequence and the general structure of the protein. Alright, so once we've done that, um, usually you're going to want to be able to uh, either kind of select some residues, uh, zoom in on the active site, or center the protein. So I'll show you a few ways to do those things. Uh, first off, we're going to highlight the ligand of the protein. And the ligand is usually located all the way to the right of the structure. And in this case, uh, I, I mentioned that we're going to look at an HIV protease. So this molecule or this ligand in the protein structure is actually an inhibitor of HIV protease. So you can see that I've selected it, and it's highlighted the structure in pink or the ligand actually in, in pink. So if you want to go ahead and see what the ligand looks like, uh, you can just go to show as sticks, and then you can just leave it in that coloration right there. And I want to deselect the ligand. So to deselect something in Pymol, you can just click on the outside, and it kind of takes away that pink splash. So I want to zoom in to the uh, ligand structure, uh, just to be able to identify some of the important r residues that might coordinate with this ligand. And to do that, I'm just going to click on the right hand mouse button and drag down. And you can see that allows me to zoom in on the structure. Um, and then if you want to center it, if your mouse has a centering button, you can just click on the middle button. and drag the structure. Finally, um, we've kind of gone over how to select stuff just by clicking on, you can either click in the sequence, or you can click on residues in the structure. So if you want to highlight, let's say, a chunk of, of the sequence, you can click and drag on top and you'll see that the, the pink splashes kind of indicate the residues that I've selected. So I'm going to zoom out again and I'm going to do that again by using my right hand mouse button and dragging up. So you just click on the right hand mouse button and either move in or move out. I'm going to show you one quick technique. Uh, there's also a way to center using the action that's a way to center and you can also zoom and in this case it's zooming in and centering on the amino acids I've highlighted so in the next tutorial we're going to go over how to identify important ligand protein contacts